Hello, welcome. So, the day is finally here. Uh, Arthur's Ascension form has arrived in our English version. So, yay. <laughs> um, yeah. The, uh, the release date, it's um, almost a, a year uh, to the day after JP got theirs. Um, which is the same as uh, what happened with uh, Lucy. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe the, you know, the English version of the game is aiming for an exactly a year uh, kind of staggered release schedule for the English version. And um, yeah, I think um, maybe earlier the first half of this year, um, that was not working out so great. <laughs> Uh, there's kind of long gaps in between uh, releases of events and characters. Uh, but it does look like we're uh, back on schedule. And then um, even though we are a year behind, uh, if we do keep on that same release schedule as JP was just a year behind, um, then there will be a um, you know good uh, stream, constant stream of uh, new characters, new content. Um, so that's my guess, yeah, of what's going to happen. But anyway, Arthur's here. Uh, let's have a look at the character. And uh, yeah, personally, uh, this is kind of um, a lot of fun for me uh, because I'm a fan of uh, the anime, uh, Fate Stay Night. And uh, in that anime, there's, a, um, there's another Arthur character that is a uh, female. Uh, her name is, um, well, her uh, class, I guess you could say, is a Saber. And then, uh, yeah, same thing. She's got a big old sword, uh, kicks butt. So very, very cool. When I'm playing with this Arthur in the game, I'll be thinking about... Um, Arturia Pendragon from the anime. Alrighty. So let's look at the stats. Um, HP is average. Um, attack is also average. Um, it looks high, uh, but she does not have a uh, gauge shot, so she doesn't get that boost. And then uh, speed is also average, about... Um, oh no, actually, she's on the uh, slower side. A little bit less than uh, 300. Uh, but yeah, nothing to complain about uh, with her stats. Um, one of her great strengths is the uh, double null ability, null gravity barrier, null damage wall, and uh, no gauge as well, which is great. Um, no gauge with null gravity barrier is good because that allows her to uh, move freely through gravity barriers when you're using a uh, command strike shot. And then uh, no gauge with the null damage wall means there's no happening of uh, dying in the uh, damage wall by accident. Um, she has a, a pretty strong strike shot. It's a laser strike shot, but it's more powerful than most. And uh, yeah, talking about Fate's Day Night again. I'm, I'm imagining her, you know, raising her sword high up in the air and shooting the, the big old laser and then, you know, coming down on the guy. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, finally, it's uh, her bump combo that is maybe the most, um, what is it? Maybe the strongest thing about her. It's a uh, lock on one way laser. Um, and it's at uh, full power, 24,000. Uh, she does have a uh, cross laser, uh, but it's not that strong, so it's really the, uh, the one-way laser that's the, uh, the story here. And then, uh, yeah, very easy to use, um, but also very powerful. Uh, this character was a great gift uh, to us players from Mixie. Um, Arthur's not a limited character, so anybody can get her from any hatcher. And uh, yeah, super duper usable. Uh, if this were the first character you had when you're just starting out, you wouldn't be in bad shape at all. Um, as for able berries, that would be good for her. Um, really, almost anything, um, because she is so balanced and so powerful, anything would be fine. Uh, maybe top priority would be um, sidekick, so you can make her one-way laser stronger. Um, but all the standard ones would be good as well, like uh, survivor. Um, What's the other one? Cutthroat. Uh, if you worry about any of her stats, you can raise her stats. Um, I think, uh, what's it called? Uh, knockout. Knockout could be fun. She doesn't have the highest speed, and uh, she doesn't have a good strike shot uh, for it, but yeah, that could be good as well. And then, uh, yeah, let's uh, move on to the mission. And then, uh, yeah, if you did watch my uh, Hakua Monster Review video, um, you'll see that I'm doing the same stage here, that is uh, Da Vinci. Um, but yeah, anyway, the quest has been appearing a lot. And uh, this is also a good stage to kind of show Arthur's strengths uh, and weaknesses. So, let's have a look here. Alrighty, so I'm using uh, three Arthurs and a uh, Suzidon. Uh, I would have liked to have used a uh, Zeus instead of Suzidon, but I didn't have... Uh, 
Zeus on uh, that device, so I just went with uh, Suzanne instead. And um, actually, in the very uh, beginning of the game, um, Arthur was the strongest character in the game. <laughs> so that's kind of funny that she's the strongest again, or one of the strongest. Um, but um, yeah, kind of the strategy was, uh, you know, get Arthur, um, place her at the bottom, uh, because she has the one-way laser, and then uh, hit her with uh, Zeus. Uh, Zeus is a pierce with a uh, blast bomb combo. Um, so yeah, that was a very easy way to get out uh, Arthur's uh, one-way laser. So yeah, kind of for old time's sake, I'm using a uh, Zeus-like uh, character. All right. So lots of uh, lasers coming out. Progressing pretty quickly. And so yeah, there are gravity bears and uh, damage walls on this mission, so that's a good uh, chance to show off Arthur. Um, and uh, there are a lot of shields. Um, and shields are one of Arthur's uh, weak points. Uh, and the reason for that is because shields can sort of um, draw the one-way laser into it, kind of uh, wasting that bump combo. Whoops. Um, so yeah, on shield levels, uh, Arthur is a little bit less effective. Um, so then in that case, uh, she becomes more difficult, a little more difficult to use, and uh, positioning becomes more important. Uh, yeah, so shields are a weakness of hers, and then uh, stages with uh, gravity barriers are also uh, a weakness of hers. And uh, yeah, as we progress further in the game, there will be more and more stages with uh, laser barriers. Uh, maybe in response to Arthur, but... Yeah, something to keep in mind. Uh, but, if those are her only two uh, weaknesses, then that still makes her one of the strongest characters in the game. And uh, she's very good for uh, rank raising um, in the JP version. Uh, in their uh, normal mission with the highest uh, EXP, um, it is a uh, dark stage and there are gravity barriers and damage walls. So Arthur is really great for that. Um, that's not the case here in our English version. Um, so you do not want to get a genius Ableberry on Arthur. Okay. Well, same idea here as always. Uh, I'm just going to set off all of the uh, bump combos that I can. Alright, good damage. And uh, I may do uh, like Arthur challenge videos, uh, where I take three Arthurs and then another character to uh, different impossible missions. Um, I have only three Arthurs, only three Arthurs, uh, so yeah, that's going to be how that's set up. I'm, I'm, I'm a little tempted to pull the, uh, the current Hatcher, which has uh, Arthur and Smopal and Mustang. Um, I already have all the three guys, but you know, having more of them would be nice. Um, but it's not a guaranteed uh, five star, so yeah, I'm debating. <laughs> Okay, so here my positioning is not great. I think maybe um, two out of my three Arthurs, uh, they are positioned so that their one-way laser will go into the shields. Um, so yeah, we'll see kind of where Arthur is not super effective. Wee. <laughs> Big damage there. Okay, but I have all of my uh, strike shots coming up, so we should be fine. Okay, last stage. Uh, we'll just go ahead and use the uh, strike shots. Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> That's really strong for a laser. Um, and yeah, also super easy to use. Alright. And just for fun, we'll end on a Susadon Strike Shot, the Meteo. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, I'm again very excited about Arthur. Um, I'm excited to take her up the uh, Tower of Champions. Excited to take her to uh, different impossible missions. Uh, yeah, hope you got yours. Hope you got the Ascension. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Take care.